Good morning. This is Hall of Famer, Director Marlon Green, urging everyone to stay positive. You're going to need it these days because Americans are anything but positive, especially in the mainstream media. We don't want to hear anything about the Holocaust. We don't want to hear anything about Bill Cosby. And we don't want to hear anything about O.J. Simpson off top. Because it affects with our African American community, especially the black woman. Uh, this message is tailored to the black woman, but I'm going to start with a story before I get to that of what happened to me yesterday at the VA. At the VA hospital, they're supposed to be compassionate, they're supposed to be understanding. But if you're African American male, it can be anything but that. African American men deserve more than their women because the women don't go through one third the hardships the men does, but has three times more in wealth. It's like this because they have been breeding pussy ass men like Bill Clinton and Barack Obama and putting them in key positions to dictate to us what they think that would be best for us and they're less capable they're less understanding they're less compassionate and their lives are more fucked up than ours it seems as though the millennials i guess i'm part of the millennials because i don't think like any of the old schools it's really the old schools who are lazy because they want to sit in a, a a lazy boy after working 30 years at the post office glutting up every fucking thing those days are over the black man deserves more than the black woman because we don't get half the respect that y'all get we get y'all don't go through one third of the problems that we face but you have three times more in wealth you know why you have three times more in wealth because willie lynch strategies allows it that way and in willie lynch strategy they particularly target the black woman because one they are easy to confuse two they are trade on their own black men for the white folks three they are not responsible they are not responsible anytime there are more of you than us and you and a woman even though it's more of you, you can drop a man today and have another one tomorrow. Because y'all dogs, I'm in the Hall of Fame, I'm handsome, the only thing I don't have is extra change. Well, you don't have no fucking extra change either. And by it being more of you all than us, y'all should be helping take care of us, not the other way around with fewer men and fewer opportunities. And y'all have more than me, and I'm Army Airborne Honorably Discharged, college grad, and a Hall of Famer. How the fuck y'all get more than me, younger than me, and less accomplished? Because y'all hoes. Because the white folks and everything, everybody else is going to put you on a pedestal knowing it's going to go to your head. Well, it had to be like this for me, because if I had the money, and if I was pursuing the money like y'all pussy ass men and these evil ass bureaucrats like bush clinton obama pelosi and a lot of other these assholes in congressional color, they are losing they are losing the game for us they are being paid to stay in a position to lose the black congressional caucus congressman lewis ugly ass he can't get a damn thing done but he'll jump out on Donald Trump. What are the Democrats doing now to prepare the black community but asking for votes? Why are you fucking around with the Bill Cosby opinion knowing y'all hoes? Why is you fucking around on FBI statements and you don't have no experience whatsoever? You don't have any international experience, but y'all always in charge of everything. Which one of y'all won the woman's think that y'all deserve more than me a real u.s army all american ass kicking motivator what do you have on your resume that could compare to that what do you have on your resume 
that can compare to a Hall of Fame? What do you have on your resume that can campaign for medical cannabis in two states and win and put a prominent professor in a key positions on the Louisiana Education the uh, Education Board, Department of Education, a Board of Trustees, and stuff like that. Y'all can't do that, so how come y'all have more than me? It's not because of God's favor, because Americans are too fucking arrogant, and they'll glut up everything and say, God has blessed me with this. No, you're being showed favoritism. God has not favored you because you lie to get everything you get and blame everything else on African Americans. And this is why I am re-emphasizing that black women deserve less than black men for at least three reasons. One, y'all been lollygagging and been too soft doing surgery. Two, you're lazy. You'd rather have welfare and say you don't need a father and fuck the family up and blame it all on him and realize the mistake years later when the kids are fucked up too. That's your fault. If you divorce a husband and you have more than him, you're going to have to pay child support, especially if that husband was a good husband. Y'all quit complaining and shit too much. And, uh, do you know what resilience it takes to stay at the VA to solve a problem, risking a second felony? That's another reason why y'all don't deserve shit or deserve less than the men. Y'all don't have any bravery. You don't have any morals. You don't have any values. And you'll let any man go through anything just so you can advance for a few dollars more. And you're the only woman on the face of the planet that does this. And you Indian and Hindu women, y'all get y'all shit together too. And don't let these evil ass black folks and these white folks turn you against me. Because I'm closer to Hindu than the white folks. And you're lucky I ran assholes like Matt Damon from out of the media because he can go give loans overseas as a CIA puppet, but he can't give loans and do businesses here in the United States. I'm three times as more talented than all you assholes in the mainstream media, and the only reason why I'm not there with you is because you're jealous. I'm three times more accomplished as most of you out there, and you toot your fucking horn like you're the only one on the planet when I'm the hottest director of of photography in the galaxy and y'all know this shit y'all scared to say my name i tore down the republicans i tore down the democrats and i'm gonna feast on the libertarians again all of you all lost to me you're scared to say my name i'm a hall of famer i'm a shot caller i'm a real u.s army airborne veteran what y'all try to be like Playing all these fucking movies like you're veteran. You ain't got what it takes to be no veteran. And you ain't got what it takes to be no fucking president. All that is media. Media appeal. No real skills. Just appeal. No real skills. Just media appeal. Get the fuck out of here and stay quiet when I'm on the set. Because none of y'all can't beat me. And the least that you can do is shut the fuck up. And not try to call the cops and confuse the situation because the facts don't change. And the only reason why y'all bitches get the influence because y'all talk more and louder. It doesn't mean y'all any writer than anyone else. And three bitches left me for married men. So that's the second reason why y'all ain't shit. And the third reason why y'all ain't shit, because you don't volunteer in the community, but you're a volunteer for a scandalous ass court session like the one that's going on with Bill Cosby. And you can't drag Bill O'Reilly in the court and you get him more to fucking jobs. And you black bitches, you better shut the fuck up about all UK issues because Willie Lynch came from the UK fucking y'all, taking all of your shit, turning y'all against us, and y'all ain't got the fucking understanding to realize what's going on. And it is mostly black bitches stopping my money, and the white folks use the black folks because the black folks are expendable against me. 
and these black bitches that do their bidding, they are so confident that the white folks is going to keep protecting them. All of the dirty and dark shit that y'all do, those days are fucking over. And if you had the courage to realize what intestinal fortitude it took to stay and solve the problem, then risking a second felony, that's exactly the more reason why we should be in charge and y'all should be at the house. You can't cook, you can't clean, you can't communicate, but you a volunteer for a, a sex scandal in court. Y'all fucked up. I'd be glad when Donald Trump cut the welfare because it's going to be less time for y'all hoes to be going around collecting a lot of shit from these different guys. And especially y'all hoes because y'all don't even pay attention to the numbers. It's five times more of y'all than us. And y'all dog and gouge us and blame us. It's five times more of y'all. So how come you have more than us? That should be the other way around. You're not more accomplished. And the only reason why y'all bitches get that far is because they like fucking y'all. And you always pay attention and promote your bodies and never your brain and never your morals. That's why the white folks don't respect you either. The white folks don't respect the men because they don't act right. They don't protect their heritage. They don't ask the right question. And the men and the women ain't shit either because all they want to do is sell pussy and have a, 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 a happier, or easier life. Well, I'm here to make a better life, not an easier life. And that's not exactly the same thing same thing and then when you asshole and you pussy men and you worthless bitches get that shit in your mind the world will be a better place go ahead on and admit the queen of england is in charge of the world but you're blaming us it's her who has three hundred thousand k and missing kids and y'all acting like y'all are so morally upright get, sit y'all asses down and for the last time i'm telling you Black men deserve way more than black women because they are not pulling their weight. The black men go through three times as much and the women has three times as more. And you can thank Willie Lynch and Jim Crow laws for that. I'm not putting up with y'all shit.